The maiden edition of the Figo Cake Pageant took place on the 5th of March 2020 at the Mozon Center Shell Hall. The event was put together by veteran Nollywood actress and fitness enthusiast and philanthropist Kate Enshaw in order to encourage young women to accept their natural skin color and promote authenticity and the melanin skin color without an attempt to alter their skin by bleaching or any other way. And what better way to pass across the message than true pageantry? The hashtag for the event was Rich Not Bleach. The host of the event was Nollywood actress Lala Akindoju. It was a star-studded event as celebrities like Chigo, Richard Mufedamijo, Rita Dominic, Alibaba and a host of others were in attendance. The night opened with Kate's speech on why she decided to come up with the pageants and despite pressure in the Nollywood industry, she didn't alter her skin color. The contestants were then introduced. The pageantry involved 13 contestants, but in the end, there was only one winner. The reason why I did this, uh, I was telling one of the journalists out there that after this event, I'm going to ask my friend why she changed her color. We were in school together, dark and beautiful, her bed in any house, her bed in my bed. I looked through Facebook some years ago and she was Rita's color. I'm like, wow, what happened? And I wasn't sure if I should ask her or not ask her, but every time I scrolled from, see, and then I saw all the images, I'm like, everybody around me is changing. There's something wrong somewhere. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the finalists. Consider the colorist society because we always think lighter is better. I mean, just like we think thinner is better. It's, I mean, they think thinner, younger is better than older, bigger. You know. So I, I've, I've experienced maybe not getting jobs because I wasn't skinny enough and I wasn't young enough for the role. But at the end of the day, I know what I'm worth, right? And it's about you knowing what you're worth and you knowing what you're bringing to the table. It is. It is so. It's sardonic. It is a parochial aquatoire. I don't know what it means, but it means something, something very bad. <laughs> it, is, it is not right. I think it is um, an expression of low self-esteem. People that don't, <clears throat> that don't, um, they, they don't, they have a less value of themselves. Um, so they are not bold enough to project what they have. They want to be like someone else. So because of that, they, they go about mixing creams. I call them, jokingly, like, I call them criminals. If you mix cream up and down, you're a criminal. There was music as well as Omawumi and Waje graced the stage and trilled the audience. You come and say you like me When you reach the bite me fine taste If I tell you to make you do me better Say I say who my wife like you plenty money is around the corner and you don't want to look like um, a coloring board stout leg coca-cola hand fan tap face and god knows we don't know with your hands get that far behind so we don't know the color <laughs> she's doing like I'm so happy that she's doing this it's very timely and it's very topical because you see I have a lot of um, women or young girls 
who are losing that confidence, you know? And I believe that platforms and, 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 and conversations such as this will help build back that confidence to let them understand that beauty is skin deep. Beauty goes beyond the physical. Everybody knows the negative um, effect of bleaching on the skin. It affects your organs, your kidneys, your liver. At the end of the day, it doesn't look good. You're beautiful in the skin that you are. After a vigorous contest and assessment by the judges, which was made up of Alibaba, Blessing Aidbe, and Bemi Shashure, the 13 contestants were shortlisted to six girls and finally down to three. to pick the Minister of Women Affairs because I want women to participate more in things happening in society today. Being able to travel around different states in Nigeria would encourage other citizens to want to travel around the country as well. And I would choose that because I would want those from other countries to come into Nigeria. Not that Nigerians would be the one going to Dubai, going to here and there. I want other citizens from other countries to be able to come into Nigeria, which is our country, and be able to go to different states and be amazed. Jane Tyloby, a 22-year-old Delta State University student, emerged the winner and won the cash prize of 1 million naira. The winner of the first Figo Kit pageant today is Jane Tyloby. Congratulations, Jane! Lead me to my destiny. I have I can see her from afar. She just a shine like a morning light. Yeah. I can't express how I feel right now. I'm so happy. I'm so elated. I'm filled with joy. I love you so much, Kate Henshaw. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. Thank you for being a mother to us. Far. I really appreciate you. You are a whole vibe. And I love you. I'm for feet. Happy, glad that it turned out so well. I had my doubts so that hey, will people come? First of all, will the girls come? Because I told them that for the finals, I need to see all of you. I cannot just give the price of one million across the internet when I'm not a Yahoo person. I want to see you, and above all, I want to, I want to know what's here. I didn't even know that they looked so slim and tall and, and so gorgeous. They look more beautiful than they were on TV, on, on, uh, on the gram. And their intellect, ah, everyone was saying, kid, kid, they're sharp. I'd never told them what to say. I only said, let your personality show. Introduce yourself. Talk about why you support the hashtag rich not bleached. And this is where it is. It was an amazing event with Mr. P signing off the show. I was tempted to tell you that I was nothing I could do.